SpotlightMediaStudios.com. Welcome to Education Unfiltered. Here is Mary Stucco. Hello, this is Mary Stucco with Education Unfiltered, where we talk about all things higher ed. And today we got a great podcast talking about Lansing Community College and the Insurance Risk Management Program there. Uh, the program's in its third year, and it's just going wonderfully. It's a great program. Um, I have Dave Aldrich, who's an adjunct faculty at Lansing Community College and also a high school teacher in Lansing Public Schools teaching the Insurance and Risk Management. Um, welcome, Dave. Hi, glad to be here. Thanks for, the, thanks for inviting me. Thank you. And I know you've been in the insurance, teaching insurance classes for about five years now. Um, you enjoy the you know, mix of younger students and, and older learners. Um, and that we're just seeing uh, an industry that's growing tremendously. So can you tell me a little bit about how you got to where you're at right now? Um, well, I've, I've been in the insurance industry for, for about uh, 13 years now. Um, kind of fell into it. Uh, I was... Um, uh, I worked for the sheriff's department um, uh, right out of college, and then fell into insurance, and then went to school to teach, and and here I am. Um, so I enjoy teaching it. I've worked. Um, I owned an agent, small agency. I uh, worked for an agency. Worked for the Department of Insurance and Financial Services, and then now I'm I'm teaching it. Um, it's a great industry to, to be in. I, I really enjoy the, the students that we have, um, old and young, older and younger uh, students. Um, it's a it's a great time to be in the in insurance industry and especially teaching it in the Lansing area. Well, thank you. We also have a couple other guests with us today, a couple very recent graduates of Lansing Community College Insurance Risk Management Program. First one is Austin Elliott. Welcome, Austin. Hey, happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And then our other guest is Andrew D'Alessandro. Welcome, Andrew. Hi right, there, Mary, and thanks for having me as well. It's great to be able to do this with you guys. Thank you. I want to take a minute and have both of you also tell about your path to choosing this um, field. So, Andrew, I'll start with you. What is what? How did you get to where you are, and what are you doing now? Yeah, of course. So, Mary, as a lot of you guys know from taking classes with you, I grew up in an insurance family. Uh, insurance lingo was always talked about in my house, so it was something that I picked up very well on. Uh, I like Dave. I kind of started my. I started going to college. I started in criminal justice and then switched to general business. Um, and when the insurance program opened up, you know, I thought I'd give it a shot. And then actually, before even getting into the program, I got licensed to sell property and casualty at 19. Um, I passed my test with flying colors, and I've been selling property and casualty for. Uh, my dad's agency, it's a local state farm agency for the past three years, um, and it's been nothing but great. The one thing I love about being able to get into it with LCC is that it allows you a lot of time to get uh, real-world industry experience, um, and, you know, it was great having having that opportunity to pioneer uh, this program at LCC because I know other students are definitely going to uh, get great experience out of it. You're very, very right. You and we'll talk a little bit more about your role in all that. Um, Austin, can you tell tell us a little bit about how you got to where you're at right now? Yeah, definitely. So for me, um, I didn't grow up in an insurance family like Andrew. I just sort of fell into it. I um, was committed to Olivet College to play baseball at a high school. Um, my only thought towards college was really uh, concerned with baseball at that point. Um, but I knew I had to pick a major. And right towards the end of my senior year, um, one of my best friends, his house actually burnt down, and it ended up being a total loss. Um, and I was so inspired by the work that the insurance company did for him and his family that I decided to pick that as a major. Um, so I, I studied that for a year at Olivet, um, ended up having some injury problems that kind of affected my baseball career, and I was homesick. So 
I transferred back to LCC and, and I discovered the great program there. Um, and your enthusiasm, Mary, really, really inspired me to, or reaffirmed my interest in the industry, I should say. Thank you. Um, and, and I was able to, yeah, get in contact with, with Delta Dental um, for an internship through that program. And I've, I've been working there ever since. I worked there throughout college and uh, just recently accepted a full-time position as an associate project manager at Delta Dental. So Very I've been cool. kind of exposed to the, the business and IT side of the industry, but it's, it's been great. Yeah, you've kind of, you know, it's kind of funny. Everybody, you know, they kind of have different reasons for getting involved and getting started, but then it's it's fascinating to watch how you guys are all really going to vis- a huge variety of fields within the industry with great companies. Um, I do want to mention LCC has now been approved. I know you mentioned, um, Andrew, that you got licensed. We've been approved by the Department of Insurance and Financial Services to offer pre-licensing classes. Um, and Dave's starting to teach those this semester. So, Dave, talk us, tell us a little bit about um, those pre-licensing classes and why it's you know benefit to take it at Lansing Community College. Well, first of all, um, they're, they're, it's going to be extremely cost effective, um, and students um, who are in the program can obviously get college credit for it. Um, it's going to be a um, uh, the one that starts this semester is an eight week course, um, so it's it's a faster paced course, but um, completely doable, if you will, um, for our students. And like I mentioned, the the cost um, is 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 I, I don't want to say better than everybody else but it's very cost effective to take it and the quality of the education obviously at lcc that you'll get is uh, second to none um they we're also we are also going to offer it um and open for the public as well um where companies can send employees to take the class uh, the licensing class as well so um, I'm pretty excited about starting the our property and casualty licensing class starts this Wednesday. Um, I'm pretty excited to hit the ground running with it and and grow it from here. I think it's a great opportunity for for our students and also uh, the community members that want to take the class as well. Excellent. Yeah, I think I'm really excited about it. So let's switch back to um, Austin. And now you're working at Delta Dental, and so the, obviously with COVID, things have looked a little bit different. Can you talk to us a little bit about um, working remotely and how that's been for you with, with you know, kind of a newer full-time position? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, COVID kind of came as a shock to anybody or everybody involved, and uh, I was no exception. Um, but Delta Dental allowed me to continue my internship remotely, and, and the transition was really seamless. I um, Essentially, I just took my work computer home with me. Um, they gave me the, all the credentials for their, um, you know, virtual network, their uh, VPN. Um, so I was able to get set up working from home, and it really, like, I, I was surprised by how smooth of a transition it was from from working in the office to working from home, it's it's a lot more obviously reliant on um, like IMs and, and team meetings, um, things like that, like video chat. But I, I've been really like pleasantly surprised by how engaged I've been able to to remain in the remote work environment, and so much so that I think you're, you may see a lot more companies continue to use this approach. Um, uh, for one, I, I think it, from the business side of things, it, it cuts down on overhead um, and allows it allows companies to recruit talent um, in a, a wider geographical range. Um, and, I, and I'm not saying, like, I think that, you know, there is something to be said about the, you know, the face-to-face work environment and the, the relationships that you build. I, I don't think that'll ever completely be eliminated, but... I wouldn't be surprised that if uh, even after COVID, you see more more people continue to work remotely and, and more companies uh, utilizing that approach. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think you know nothing's ever going to probably look the same again, and and this will probably be one element that will allow people uh, from different areas to contribute. And I know Delta Dental is a big proponent of that as well. 
Um, Andrew and Austin, they were some of the first students that went through the insurance and risk management program at LCC. And they also, they're just, they're go-getters. They're amazing. They're amazing people. And they uh, started the Gamma Iota Sigma Lansing Community College chapter, Gamma Mu. Uh, Gamma Iota Sigma is an uh, international insurance fraternity, well-known within the industry. And I want you guys both to talk, uh, you know, you can take turns talking about, um, you know, your experience with Gamma, you know, going to conferences, networking. Uh, Andrew, I'll let you get started on this. Yeah, of course. So <clears throat> Gamma was something that uh, we we did rush into it a little quickly. Uh, but, you know, it ended up being one of those things where it was either you get on the boat or you stay off. And me and Austin both went to that first conference, so we were eligible to actually become a chapter in the Gamma community. Um, and and we were both ple- pleasantly surprised at you know how uh, you know how vast of uh, or of an organization it actually was. Uh, we got to not only meet students from all over the country at other universities, uh, but we also got to meet with you know employers and different uh, companies again from all over the country. Uh, you get to build your network, and even today, you know, me and Austin still have contacts with some students at Butler and Olivet and uh, just a b- bunch of other um, uh, universities around the country. And it, it's just something that when we jumped into it, we didn't really know where it was going to go at first. Um, but, you know, we had to take a leap of faith, and me and Austin are, you know, glad we did because – as we integrate more students into LCC especially, um, it's something that, you know, I, I would never go back and change. It's something that I would do the same thing time and time over again, 10 times out of 10. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad that, you know, you know, I'm hoping that students are really going to want to jump aboard that train as well because uh, you, I, I actually landed one of my biggest internships, which got postponed to next summer, but it's through WSIA, which is the Wholesales and Specialty Insur- Insurance Association, uh, and you know they they place they're going to place us two to, at two different locations in the surplus lines insurance. Um, so basically, I, I don't know if it's going to stay like this for me, but last summer before they postponed it, I was supposed to go to Chicago and then Atlanta, um, and then in one of the cities that I went to, I would do sales in surplus lines and then the other i do underwriting um and they co- you know they cover full house housing costs you get an 18 dollar an hour um salary or 18 dollar an hour is paid by wsia uh they pay for your travel expenses you have mentoring through the entire uh through the entire program um, and and then from there you even have opportunities to go out to conferences in San Diego, which you get to meet some of the industry leaders. Uh, and then they even take the top two percentile out of 20 candidates, and they send two students to um, London to actually study an internship abroad. Um, and this is just one of the many amazing companies that Gamma Iota Sigma brings to the table. Uh, and you're going to get to network with all of them. So it, it, it's been nothing but great. And like I said before, it, it was something that I was just so impressed by and so happy to just jump on that boat and be a part of, you know, one of the leaders in the insurance industry. Well, you guys, you guys are definitely two examples of just really where you just made the most of your situation and you're just landing in great places because you have, you know, your excitement to be in the industry and, and try different things. And uh, I mean, can't wait to hear about your internship when, when things finally can happen for you this summer, Andrew. It's very exciting. Yeah, it'll be great. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And uh, I, was, I was a little upset it got postponed, but, you know, uh, you have to look past that. Everyone kind of lost something, uh, you know, through COVID, whether it was sports or didn't get to see family or their jobs. And, you know, you just got to take the best of the worst situation and look forward and just remember that there's light at the end of the tunnel, even though it doesn't seem like it's there. Um, but, uh, you know, I've been grateful enough to stick with State Farm uh, and continue my experience there. 
And then I am in, finally in my last semester at Northwood University. So I will be getting my bachelor's degree here soon, and then I'll be taking off to that internship hopefully this summer. So it, it's just, you know, it did pan out for the in the best way possible for me. So I'm ha- very happy about that. Yeah, making the most of the situation. We just yeah. have a, we just have a little bit of time left, um, Austin. But I want you to talk a little bit about being a young professional in the insurance industry. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know the industry has, has done a really good job of of trying to pull young people in, uh, young talent, and um, sort of integrate the, the industry in that way. And, and one of those examples is Gamma Iota Sigma. But there's a lot of great things that insurance companies do to recruit young talent and, and get young people involved um, in their company. And just speaking from personal experience, I've, I've had a great opportunity at my company to, to both learn and, and showcase my skills throughout my internship. And it's kind of allowed me to, to be in the position that I am um, to, you know, be working with the company on a full-time basis. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of a lot of great things that that insurance companies are doing to to get young people involved and um, and recruit young talent. So I'm kind of lucky to be a part of that. It is. And and how are your experiences? Just real quickly, Andrew, as a young professional in the industry. Yeah, as a young professional in the industry, I mean, as, as we've talked about, Mary, more than 25% uh, of the industry is actually going to be retired within the next 10 years. Uh, so you look at that in the long run, and uh, it, it's a you know you have a great period of time for kids like us, uh, young students, young professionals, to really pioneer their legacy and get going on a great path. And then you know, within the next 10 years, when these CEOs and these higher ups I do end up retiring, whether due to age or they're just ready to be gone. Uh, a lot of us are going to be, you know, the next in line to step up to those positions. So, um, you know, you got to take every opportunity that's out there. I know I always have. Uh, you got to open those doors. And, uh, you know, I promise to everyone listening right now that the more doors you open, uh, the more that are, are going to be available in the future. And you're going to have a lot of options coming out of the insurance industry, even if you do not stick with the insurance industry. You know, sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. You guys yeah. are doing yeah. a great job. So thank you so much for joining us, Dave Aldrich, Andrew D'Alessandro, and Austin Elliott. This is Mary Stocko with Education Unfiltered. We look forward to seeing you again soon.